from the Penn Libraries. Once you have done a search in PubMed, you'll want to find out if you can access the full text of the articles that you found. In order to do this, you can use the Pen Text button. In the default results display, the Pen Text button does not appear. If you click on the title of a specific article, you'll find the Pen Text button on the top right hand side of the page. If you want to see the Pen Text button for all articles retrieved in your search, you'll need to change the display settings. So we'll go back and click the arrow here next to Summary, and then click the radio button next to Abstract. Now, in addition to seeing the abstract for each article of your search results, the Pen Text button appears at the bottom of each citation. If we look at this citation, you'll see that in addition to a Pen Text button, there is a link directly to the publisher's website. It's tempting to use that link to get to the article, but the website might ask you to pay to access the article. In order to access the text of articles that the library subscribes to, you should use the Pen Text button. If I click on the Pen Text button for this article, you can see that the full text article is available online, and clicking on the link will take me directly to the article. If you're planning to print this article, it might help to download it in the form of a PDF. Let's go back to my PubMed results and look at another article. If I click on the pen text button for this article, you can see that the article cannot be accessed online. So the next step is to check Franklin to see if we have a print copy in the library. If I click on the link to Franklin, you can see that we do in fact have a copy of the journal in the dental library. So you can come in and make a copy of the article that you need. I'm going to go back to my PubMed search results one more time. This article is not available online, so I'll try Franklin. But Franklin can't find any results for this journal, which means that we don't have a print copy in our libraries either. So the third option here is to request the article via interlibrary loan. If you click on this link, you'll be asked to log in with your pen key. And once you log in, the form will be automatically filled out with the article information. The default setting is web delivery, which means that when the article you requested is available, you'll get an email instructing you how to view it online and print it out on your own. Click the Send Request button and you will receive an email as soon as the article is available. This concludes the Pen Text tutorial. From the Pen Libraries